was for the count, then I found your love. I had wandered off, thought I had gone too far, there I found your love. Fear I used to know, can't stop me anymore, cause I found your love. When I feel alone, I have a place to go.
week I was thinking about last week's sermon when Pastor Rick Wickham was with us and it was such a such a wonderful wonderful time that we had if you didn't get an opportunity to, to see Pastor Rick's sermon if you weren't able to make it here last week I want to encourage you to go to YouTube find this sermon it was so rich so much wisdom and I thanked him for that wisdom that he had presented to us of how he had there was so much suffering to develop a sermon like that to produce so much power. And I was thankful for that. And I went home that afternoon, and my wife and I, we were making lunch and everything, and I looked at my wife and I said, I said, sweetie, I said, I'm looking back at the last eight and a half years and even the last 15 years of my life wanting to be in ministry. And I'd focus so much on what God had promised me that I woke, I found myself waking up every day and going, okay, Lord, are you going to bring my promise to me today? Is today the day that you're going to present my promise to me? Because you said it was going to happen. And what that, what that sermon had done for me last week was a mind change and a heart change that convicted me to repent of looking toward my promise and not looking, to, looking forward to the very next day of saying, Lord, how can I obey what it is you want me to do today? And even this past Tuesday morning as we were in staff prayer, you know, I got, to, I got to share a little bit about that. And then the Lord hit me with something, even in that moment. And he said, Johnny, are you willing to repent of even your promise to come after me? And I thought to myself, Lord, that's a very bold statement for you to be saying. You're asking me to turn away and to turn around from the very thing that you've declared over me. I said, why would you have me do that? He goes, because I need you to get your face off of your promise. And I need you to get your face onto me because I've given that promise. And my word doesn't return to me void. And I said, Lord, I'll give you, I'll give you whatever you ask. When the Lord asks you something like that, you just go, yes, sir. <laughs> And I found myself even this week, all this week, just going, Lord, waking up every morning and going, Lord, it's not the promise that I'm after today. I'm after you. And the Lord showed me this. He goes, as you repent, and repentance is not, is not a bad thing. Repentance is not, is not this evil word. You know, we use repentance to, as, as a word, as a picture. It, it literally means to turn 180 degrees and to walk in the other direction. And so that's why we say repent of your sin. But in this, the Lord had asked me to repent of the promise, to turn away from the very thing that he had spoken to me and to begin to focus on him and to focus my intention on him. And he said, Johnny, he goes, here's what's going to happen. And this is the picture that he gave me. He said, and as you pursue me, he goes, my hand is going to be on your shoulders. And he goes, and as you pursue me, he goes, I'm going to be walking and I will lead you into your promise. And by the time you get to your promise, you're not even going to know that you're there. It will just be so natural. And you have been in it for even years and not even know that you've been in it. But because you focus on me and you focus your attention on the one who gives the promise, he goes, it'll all be taken care of. Because his word does not return to him void at all. And I was thankful for that. And I was thankful that I get the opportunity to share that here today. Don't focus on your promise. God has already said it. His word does not return to you void. And Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in all prayer and supplication, make your requests known to the Lord. And so, Lord, today we do have requests. We have desires. And there are even promises that you've spoken over our lives. But Lord, we are not turning toward that promise. We are turning toward you, knowing that you are faithful and that you've never let us down. And so Lord, would you receive our worship today as we turn the corner, and as we turn from the things that we're after, and we say that we are after you, and that we will pursue you, Lord, for your kingdom and for your glory. In Jesus' name. Oh. 
walking around these walls I thought by now they fall But you have never failed me Waiting for change to come Knowing the battles won For you have never failed me yet Your promise still stands Great is your faithfulness Your faithfulness and Still in your hands this is my confidence, you never failed me yet. Never failed. I know the night won't last. Your word will come. My heart will sing your praise again For Jesus, you're still enough will Keep me within your love For my heart will sing your praise again still stands great is your faithfulness faithfulness yeah. I'm still in your hands this is my confidence never fail your promise still stands great is your faithfulness faithfulness
Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness, and I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. 